Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. And apparently if I watched two steps, I would have gotten another cutscene. There he goes! Forget him! Take a look around! There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms! These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. Yeah, they are drippy. bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Um. Shark. Stop it. Okay, so. Let's eat all those and go back to my honey buns. So, wouldn't they react like all the time thanks to. Uh, that's interesting. They also interesting. Okay. Anyways, so uh, a couple things. One, I loaded into this and turned up. Uh, I loaded up this. I had, I've turned up the like, game volume, so I'm hoping that it's still fine and like the music won't just. Copy well right now. I'm not super worried about that since I'm not making money off of these, but still. Uh, because the voice acting in this game is great, and with ha with my previous settings, ow, you could. Uh, the voice acting could be heard, but I feel like that my voice was. I didn't realize it was poisoned. But my voice was coming in over them. Uh, okay. I wasn't moving. Why are you going up more than one time? These things are annoying. No. Okay. I'm down here now. Okay, I did not want to come down here. This is what I want to do. No. Because while I'm... Gotta go down. Aha! I knew it. I am here to serve. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go to sell mode real quick and see if I have any materials that we haven't sold. But now, so as I said, the first thing I want to just put out there is that I have raised the volume. Let me know if it sounds okay or if you think it should be better the way it was or what have you. I just feel like I was a little too loud. Second of all, it was pointed out to me the point one that's a multiplier in front of it, not an addition. So that is actually a 10% increase. Which is something I didn't notice the, there, but it was pointed out to me in the comments and I thank you for that. Uh, also, there is a little situation where uh, I may have accidentally skipped some dialogue. Oh, this right here cure sounds. Neat. So that's good to know. Uh, let's see here. This right here is the only thing that cures poison from what I'm seeing. How many do I have? I only stock three. I'm going to grab a... I'm just going to double the amount I have right now. And I don't need these too much, but I'm gonna buy a couple of these just to have them. Your Watch your back. Thank you. So, um, where are you, jerk? I try to I try to do the dodge roll. Okay. Nope, we're just gonna go down here. Yep. Stay away from that. I don't like those. Oh, here's a save spot, which doesn't heal me because I'm not low enough damage. But uh, there's special dialogue for uh, the jerk that you uh, get the laundry for, depending on whether you uh, what you do or do not do to his laundry. So 
But because I did advance in chapter, it might have been, uh, overwritten, and we're- I'm hoping that that's not- Oh, you're interesting. Where, where? I don't see him. Oh. He's so tiny, it matches this. Uh... Okay. Whoa, where'd you come from? It looks like the bubble sprouts hit them as well, and also I killed him. Come on, buddy, I just I don't know where And there he goes again. You're a welcome kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. We're not moving, so you're kidding me. Uh, I hate these things. Okay. I hate these things so much. I was going over this way to check out what's over here first. Thank you very much. Okay, I did not press the dodge button. Stop it. Uh, so my right thumbstick, I might have want to, uh, I might want to mess with the controls and make it so that the right thumbstick does not do the dodge roll for me because it's been giving me trouble lately in just doing that whole, you know, slowly sliding over thing. Like, it, like I'm touching it, but I'm not. Oh. Well, that's how you, I was right, that is how you get to the goat, but... Goats, um... Well, not a goat, sheep. But the shiny sheep is, um, behind this... Little du little thing that you can't- we can't do yet, so... Okay. Bye, guys. But, yeah, so, uh, worst case scenario, if we did miss that dialogue for, uh, what I totally didn't do to that guy's laundry, I don't know what you're talking about. Renegade for life. Uh, I will quickly run through and just, on my own time, do that scene, uh, that thing again, and then and get that dialogue. Uh, yes, that really wasn't that long ago in my entire playthrough, but if I'm not recording and not going for trying to find everything, then all of a sudden... That's a lot faster to go through. So, that's the plan. And now we're going to a little underground village under the village with more of the sheep. Mud pot. There's a treasure here. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. I don't know, the sheep looks dangerous. There he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this! I'm sorry, Mama! Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. She does see that I can fly. 
fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. <laughs> Got the seer spoon, and I ain't afraid to use it. I like her. We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to. Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back Bopo. to your chores before I take out the spoon again! You never put it away. Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be now able you to put this your away. Father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with your <laughs> wooden spoon. <laughs> just. I like her. Um, I really like her. You're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Wait, can I actually go in there? Okay. I discovered a small village of a mud pot deep in, in, ca in the ca uh, caverns. Bopo's father is dying. He's saved by a creature called the lady. There's probably some. Oh my god. Yeah, I can enter here. Interesting. This must be the paw. Sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, no missions here. Oh, there's a quest from this little one. Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? You are pretty. It's a flying cat! <sighs> She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we'd met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. 
Don't worry, fidgets. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. Smobop. Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Oh, no. Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Hmm. Tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just level up because of being a snarky wolf? Oh, a smoke pop in mud uh, pop. But this is not going to work for me very well, is it? And says that she must have fidget. Resisting the urge to give her the real thing, you decide to find a suitable replacement, preferably in the form of a fidget doll. The best bet would be the shopkeeper in Aurora Village. I'm not gonna lie, I would totally buy a fidget plush. Not gonna lie. Well, I'm just all my pattern of just keeping everything equal for now. So much to this village. Uh, well, there's nothing really that way. Just the water down there, and there's a path down. Hello. Uh, you look like you might be a thing. Okay, so I can't go to the path down. Good to know. That's all I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, there's an old man. Oh, is this old man going to teach me how to do this? Blop. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are going to save her village? This is on time. What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And <laughs> yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well... Yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking nematodes. the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, <laughs> seems to me the only no way to get fidgets. through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spike of rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut-up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hidden stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my <laughs> own. Dang, that's... They don't have me standing around here for my good looks, after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blob. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Okay. Well, that's all I want to do. We have the red rest in the gym. Uh, um, so that's good. Quest that hitting stick. God dang it. Bob has lost his hitting stick in the area below mud pots. Retrieve his stick so he can get back to hitting things as soon as possible. He gets fidget with that, so we're going to have a problem. Trying to be all fancy. Hi, there's a black sheep right there. This is so many explosives. And are you the one looking for your black sheep? You're probably the one looking for your black sheep. 
Okay. I'm not, uh, I can't go in, so, okay, we're gonna talk to you. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? You're twice as tall well, as everybody it's else. it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! Finally, somebody knows! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mud Pond. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Oh, nice. Cool. See, this is why I talk to people. And you're going to ask me to find your black sheep. Well, good evening, youngin'. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Black sheep. Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. All the characters, all the people in the... Oh. Well. I... Mildly surprised I would see a grave in here. But at the same time, I guess that's not surprising at all. There's one right there, right there, seriously. Okay. Oh, right. I want to do that and check real quick on my rings. And check out the ring of sight. Yeah, my luck would go down by two, but my attack would go up by three with that one. And this one... Ooh, this one will give me a lot more... More death. Okay, we'll equip that. There we go. While I'm at it, let me just quickly check my other stuff. That's rings. Uh... I should check to see if this right here would be an increase, but I probably can't make it yet. Um, okay. This one thing I really wish I would, did know, is there a way to fully heal without just using up healing items constantly? Like, or, or is there like... With how some games like you have like an inn or places you can fully heal. Oh, here's one. Uh, collect. Wait, did you just? Mm hmm. Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? Okay then. <laughs> uh, did I just pick up a key? I just picked up a key. Yes, I did. Okay. That's not what I was looking for. Because, see, this right here is explosive. So, I was thinking that maybe... Why is there just this one enemy in this cave? Just, just this one little jerk just wants to be right there. Hi! This is the surface. Uh, well, um, let's go back to Aurora Village, and let's find out real quick if I lost that thing. Plus, we need to go here anyways. 
for a couple of other things, like a quest I didn't get to turn in. Oh, hi. Please let me know if you. I'll keep my eyes open. Much I should look into seeing if buying those things would just uh, be more beneficial than constantly going back to talk to them. Bunny. Uh. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect this at all. Okay. Alright, so there's. Oh, we need to actually talk to you. Welcome back. Uh, do you have any children toys? Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. Why? What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> ah, excellent. You've brought all the materials. Would you like me to make the doll now? Oh, wait, I actually have the materials? Sweet. Wonderful. <laughs> now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. Done. See how well I've captured every nuanced curve? Uh... See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Just what? shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Oh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. Wait, do I get a key? I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. Wait, do do I actually get a key? do I actually have one? Do do I actually have one? Please tell me I have one. Uh I Yep, they're in my inventory. <laughs> oh my God. You almost can't tell this doll from the real thing. It's incredible. That's fantastic. Okay, so we have a couple quests here, and I'm running a little bit later than I normally do on these. But, kind of want to go check. She's gone, of course. Uh, we're working on it, buddy. I almost have your box. Almost. Okay. You are one of ones. Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Stop breaking the fourth wall, though, Fidget. No, actually, just keep doing it. That's fine. You. You're the one I want to know. <laughs> what do I? Is something wrong? Oh, am 
everything is on fire. This is agony. Agony. Well, maybe having a poor defenseless boy wash your laundry way out in the woods isn't agreeing with you. Go, boy. Go. Just leave me alone. Let me agonize in peace. Uh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, there's one more thing we want to do before. Um, is he not here? I thought he was. Oh, there you are. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think, so. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. Oh. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm. Just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Okay. Well, we've got ugh, so many quests. <laughs> just all of the quests. It's just everything. Okay, I'm gonna go back to a save point, just save it here in town, and then... I'm gonna end for the day. Let me know if there's any more comments from him, because I don't feel like talking and trying to push me any further. Anyways, for now, that's it for this episode. So thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time.